Hello everyone, this is your favorite show Malaika TV and today we are here in the hood and our topic will be peer pressure and uh, self-control and all early pregnancy and also topic is so cool, I hope you are going to enjoy so as we start with the, with our students Shali and uh, Kandi, Mambo Vipi? Mkopoa So to answer na tunezanza, peer pressure ni nini? kutaka kuomba mambo kutaka kwa yani kuiga kuiga mtu eh yani kila kitu una copy kila kitu so nikisema uko na peer pressure saa hii peer pressure yako ime iko juu ni kumaanisha una copy vile watu wengine wanafanya eh na self control what is self control kandi kama for example mm -hmm. ume unataka kuwa girlfriend yangu ama boyfriend yangu mm -hmm. una una control feeling zako kwa sababu umetumia mm -hmm. ume reason mm -hmm. na ukaona niki nikifanya hivyo mm -hmm. kuna vile ndajaribu pia mimi utajaribu mm -hmm. sasa ukisema kujaribu unamaanisha nini nizaenda ni kwa girlfriend yake alafu for example anipea mimba eh uanze ku regret ama shali yani mtu anachicontrol unaji control. Mm. Kumaanisha kwa wale watu tuseme kwa kuna mademo wako na adolescence, ndio? Mm. Na wanajaribu kuiga kukuwa kama so and so. So madem kama wao mnaweza kuambia nini? Afikirie. Wafikirie before wa, wafanye kitu, si ndio? Mm. Tukirudi kwa kwa wazazi. Hii maneno na pia pressure. Mimi najua mna mna watoto wasichana, maybe 12 13 14 ama 9 you see Ad adolescence inaanza kwa ile age difference ndio mm. nini kama muna, muna, una understand aje peer pressure okay upande mm. wangu mm. ni ukiwa na mtoto msichana mm. ni lazima uwe free mm. na ye mm. umweke karibu mm. ujaribu kuongea na ye kulingana na mm. venye kunaenda mm usuka unamficha ficha mm. alafu tena jambo lingine mm. kuna hii mambo ya digital imeingia mm. sasa unapata mtoto zile vitu tulikuwa tunafanya tukiwa wadogo mm. au sikizo wamechukulia advantage unapata mtoto anafanya kitu kingine tofauti na yenye mm. inafana rika yake mm. azina anafanya kitu ya juu kushinda venye rika yake iko hiyo ni kukua influence which is yeah. peer pressure tukikuja kwa kwa understand ya peer pressure Yeah. Yeah, pressure. Yeah. Ni on my side venye naelewa ni ile yeah. ni ile kutaka kufanya kinyo mwingine anafanya. Yeah. Yaani kama unasukumwa. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, mm. Yeye unalazimishwa. Mm. Sasa ile msana tuona maybe ule mtu fulani, mm. yani dem fulani ameshikwa kitu fulani pia nataka kama hile. Yes. Ame cladi hivi nataka tu vile ule ame cladi. Vile ame cladi. Hmm? So, Sasa mm inafika mahali mm. kama atapata chali mwenye amejua akili yake anataka kitu fulani chali afambia kuja nikakubai kitu fulani. Mm. Sasa ile mtu atakimbia. Mm aende akabaiwe bila ametaka ile ile yes. mwingine vene amefanyia sasa hivyo ndio hivyo ndio vinaelewa which means uh, peer pressure ni kitu moja mbaya sana inasukuma wasichana wetu wafanye vitu, zile vitu ambavyo hawafai kufanya si ndio yes, ina push pia ina kupush ufanye zile vitu ambavyo hustahili kufanya na once umeshazifanya unarudi pale mtaa unaanza ku regret oh ni kama niko na mimba oh mam natapika oh mam si tembei vizuri huko ni uchungu ya private parts ndio yes. so tukianza tu, juzi ma, e, machako se kulipatikana wanafunzi karibu e, karibu 4000 elfu nne wana mimba hebu tuambie tukianza na wewe ni ukweli okay upendo wangu eh uenda ikawa hata pengine ni siasa eh wana siasa pia lazima mm. mtu anataka atoe ile aseme ile kitu yenye watu wakisikia yes. watu wanashtuka ti oh kumbe hii kitu iko hivyo na pengine sio hivyo mm -hmm. hapo itakuwa imempatia jina mm -hmm. kwa upande mwingine hiyo mm -hmm. ni ya kwanza ya pili mm -hmm. ina depend was, watu ni kiasi gani yani wasichana mm -hmm. ama watoto mm -hmm kulingana na hesabu mm. wa kiwango gani ambapo ukitoa hiyo 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 hesabu ya 4000 mm. inalingana na hiyo oh, namba na hiyo namba yes tu, tuikuja kwa shali unadhani ni ukweli wanafunzi wanafunzi 4000 imagine hapana eh labda wanatumiwa kama biashara wanatumiwa kama biashara mm. inaweza kuwa ni kisiasa mm. In, kweli mm. aha tuikuja tu kwako mam 4000 
in Machakos County. Unaweza tuambie ni ukweli ama ni siasa? sioni ni ukweli na na tuni siasa nataka yes. kujipigia debe wala wanataka wana kujipigia yeah. debe yes ah kandi sudan kan kweli mhm wewe mm unaonelea aje hiyo na bora peana si sio namba mm. kuna vile wana do fake si ndio yeah malaika tv tunakuja very soon tutajua kama ni ukweli ama mna tudanganya ama ni kisiasa sio so tukikuja kwa nafunzo wetu hapa Eh, since mfunge shule kwa hii maneno na covid na nini and all mna feel aje kutoka out of shule eh unasikia vibaya unasikia vibaya aje mm, home kuna boeka uh -huh. mm, mambo mingi inaendelea kama e, eleza eleza ili watu wa learn from wewe eh uh. home una masaza kucheza na watu wengi ni shule mko wengi yes eh na home kuna challenges mingi kushinda shule challenges ni move eh? yeah. which kuna zingine zimefichika zitaki kusema mbele ya kamera eh mm -hmm. akandi home collabo mhm mm home vitu mingi vinafanyika unajua kama kupata mimba kama mimi niko gas kuna sisi pata mimba nikiwa shule yes. na kama sasa hivi leo tuko home yeah. pia mtu anaweza kuwa na peer pressure na enda kufanya kitu hata kuja ku regret ah ah very good tukirudi kwa wazazi since um au watoto wafunge shule na mmeka nao for a very long time Mnasikia kichwa iko aje kidogo kichwa inakuuma ama watoto unawakalisha chimsa zingine unaongelesha ama utaenda kutafuta waje nyumbani ah si mimi nimeenda kutafuta hebu mtuambie tuanze pale kwenda kutafuta kwa mimi mzazi lazima nitatoka nitaenda kuwatafutia unaona lakini nitataka nimeongea na hao niwaambie vile umefunga shule nafa kusoma revision lazima ikue so utajuaje kuna kitu anakuficha vile nimemlea na mwelewa uh -huh. na vile unaweza ongelesha mtoto unajua huyu mtoto mm. hapa kuna mm. kenya anaficha ama kuna kitu inamsumbua mm. unaweza muona amika peke yake unajua huyu mm. mtoto ayuko sawa mm. na kuna sasa unaweza muuliza kitu mm. ana respond ile not really a call rude mm. sana japo kuna vile anasumbukana kiakili ama kimawazo ah uh -huh. uh, okay kwanza wangu yes kulingana na vile tumekaa nao nyumbani mm kuna challenges mingi na juu pengine mtoto anaumia mm. na uwezi ukajua mm. sasa ili ujue mm. ni lazima ukae naye karibu mm. hata kama umeenda kibarua umerudi mm. uko naye karibu una kuna zile maswali mm. ukuimuuliza mm. kulingana na venye anakujibu mm. tayari takuambia mm. kuna vitu anapitia mabaya mm. ama kuna vitu aziendi vizuri mm. sasa tena on the other side mm. kuna venye akiriat we mwenyewe unaona hakuna venye kukopoa sasa Ayo. ni jukumu lako we mzazi mm. unafaa hata saa zingine hata kama ni kazi mm. una unafinya pause kiasi mm. unaongea na ye, mm. unakuwa free na ye, mm. kuna zile story hata unaweza piga na ye, mm. zenye Ina, unajua mtoto pia ukimlea mm. kuna zile story unapiga na ye, kuna zile story lakini kulingana na siku hizi mtoto lazima upige na yeye story hizo za mficho hizo za kindani ndani jaribu unazitoa sasa aki grow ana grow akijua hii kitu inaendaga hivi si ati ile itapata azini ile itamshtua ati aki ona kwa ya kifanya anashtuka sasa hiyo ni ile kitu yeah. alishaambiwa sasa yeye mwenyewe anajua venye ataweza ku control mm. kulingana na venye mm. huwa unakaa na yeye unamuelezea mpiga mm. story mm. unakuwa karibu na yeye so tukirudi kwa ah toto pale ali pregnancy mm. shali ndio ndio msichana mwenzako aende mtu wa boda ama whatever atafute hiyo mafuta ama always nini Unadhani nini inampush? Ni nini inamfanya paka anaenda kufanya vitu pale? Mzazi wake ameshindwa kumprovidea. Mm. Alafu unaweza kata mzazi wake amemtegeishi. Yes. Ndio kwa maana anaenda kufanya. Kitu kingine kandi. Mbona mbona for example wewe uende uende kule nje ukasema mm. si shule imefungwa kwani wacha nende nikajitafutie. Mbona uende? Pengine sina wazazi na relatives wanishughuliki ama siko open down to niambie kitu nataka. Eh okay. So mnataka kusema some of the some of the wanafunzi and all wanasema I mean hard kwa kuambia mzazi ama maybe wengi najua kuna single parents ndio? 
anaweza kuwa ya baba ama mama but ukiwa na mama sidhani kama unaweza ukamficha sio unless mama venye niliwaambia nili wazazi unless mama ni mtu wa kutoka ina depend ina depend wewe ndio leo hapo umeenda kutafutia msichana wako pia chakula kitu kule and all mm-hmm. but hauna ile time ya kukana hey, ya kukana hey, chini na ni hey. yeah, that's why unasikia hapa yes kandi anasema mm-hmm. maybe ile station ama maybe akona mzazi mmoja eh? which ni baba you see ama some wako na two parents but are you gonna free jua naona e hey, haki nikiambia dada ama mama mimi nimemalizwa so you see that's why tunasema ukae na watoto chini uwaongeleshe eh ukishaambia hii ni private party yako na hii ni kitu muhimu kwako na make sure each and every time uki mess results are unaambia number 1 pregnant number 2 st highs number 3 aids and number 4 utafikiria kitu kujinyonga ama kitu because uta utakuwa na ile aibu you see utakuwa na ile aibu na tutakupata hapo nyumba ume uh, kandi amejichukilia hivi jamani ni nini na msichana eh? kumbe alikuwa na kitu inamsumbua you see 